Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on calculus, and it's calculus for beginners. Now, in previous videos, we talked about exponents and exponentials and indices and index laws and powers and all sorts of things. In this presentation, I'm going to continue on index laws and exponentials. Let me show you the example that we're going to work on. Okay, um, We're asked to solve the following equation for x. So it's 3 to the x plus 2 times 3 to the x plus 1 equals 21. And the reason I've written here a little, little bit earlier is because I actually did this video and I forgot to put my microphone down, so it was all you know silent. Okay, so this kind of expression, this 3 to the x, is called uh, an exponential. Okay, and we're trying to find the value of x that makes this equation hold. And you may look at this equation and go, yeah, I know the value of x. I can just, just work it out in my head. This won't work for um, every equation. And so what I'm going to do is give you an idea of how to apply index laws to solve this, this equation. Okay, so the idea is to get the 3 to the x on its own. This is almost 3 to the x. And I can use my index laws to write 3 to the x plus 1 equals 3 to the x times 3 to the power 1. And that's just 3 times 3 to the x. So what I've done is I've replaced this with 3 times 3 to the x. So I have a 3 to the x and a 3 to the x. Okay. Oh, actually, let me... Actually, I'll bring this one in. Yeah, this is a bit better. Okay, so the idea is to get 3 to the x on its own. So I've replaced this in here with 3 times 3 to the x. All right, so now you can hopefully see that this is just 2 times 3 times 3 to the x. So that'll be 6. And I've got two terms involving 3 to the x. So I've got one lot of 3 to the x plus 6 lots of 3 to the x. Well, it's just like adding apples. You have one apple and six apples, you add them together, and you get seven apples. So these two terms here will give you seven times three to the x. Okay, so let's get the three to the x on its own, divide both sides by seven, and I get three to the x equals three. So what value of x solves this um, equation? Well, you can look at it, three to the power one equals three. So x equals one. Okay, so you won't always be able to solve this kind of expression as easily as we did here. What's needed in general is something called a logarithm or a logarithm function. Now, in future videos, we will look at logarithms, but this one is pretty easy to, to solve without the idea of a logarithm. We could just work out x just by looking at it. So let's just recap. We were given this exponential type equation. We wanted to, The first step was to get 3 to the x on its own. We did that using breaking this up using our index laws. And then we just simplified with a bit of algebra and got down to something like this. And then we could just work it out just by, by looking at it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, join me again. The next series of videos will be on logarithms. If you have any questions, any comments, Put them in the comment section below. Thanks, everyone. Bye.